a compound microscope consists of an objective lens its aperture is small its focal length is small it also has an eyepiece this eyepiece has slightly larger aperture and slightly larger focal length this is perfectly okay a tiny object is placed in front of the objective at a distance slightly greater than the focal length as the object is placed slightly beyond the focal length it effectively lies between f and 2f its image will be on the other side it will be real inverted and magnified now this image should act as an object for the eyepiece and the eyepiece in turn produces the final magnified image further we are already aware of the two different cases in the case of compound microscope in the first case final image is formed at the least distance of distinguishing and in the second case the final image is formed at infinity anyway let's come to the first part of this question the compound microscope the image formed by the objective and the eyepiece respectively of course objective produces real image and the eyepiece produces virtual image so the option is b now let us proceed to the second part of this case study in the second part of the question the magnification due to the compound microscope does not depend upon and the four choices are given so let's write the formula for the magnification formula for the magnification is given by the expression m is equals to m o into m e this is equals to l by f o multiplied by 1 plus d by f e when the final image is formed at the least distance of distinguishing and this is also equals to l by f o multiplied by d by f e it is obvious from these two formulas that the magnification due to the compound microscope neither depends upon the aperture of objective lens nor on the aperture of eyepiece yes it does depend upon the focal length of objective lens and eyepiece as you can see from the formula f o f e f o f e yes it does depend upon the length of the tube as obvious from this formula here l happens to be the tube length and i wanted to remind you that the tube length is not same as the separation between the two lenses yes it does depend upon the color of the light used why that is so and it is because of the fact that for different colors the refractive index of the material used to form the convex lens will be different and hence focal length will also be different for different colors as obvious from this lens makers formula the final answer happens to be a let's proceed to the third part which of the following is not correct in the context of a compound microscope can you see both the lenses they have the short focal length this is perfectly okay the magnifying power increases with decreasing the focal length of the two lenses this is again okay can you see the uh, fo and fe they appear in the denominator shorter the focal length more will be the magnifying power the distance between the two lenses should be more than f o plus f e this this is false and you see when the final image is formed at the least distance of distinguishing then the separation between the two lenses happens to be f o plus u e and in the second case when the final image is formed at the infinity then the separation between the two lenses is f o plus f e and hence the separation between the two lenses cannot be more than f o plus f e so a is correct b is correct third appears to be incorrect let's also check this option d the microscope can be used as a telescope by interchanging the two lenses so definitely not this cannot happen look at the sizes of aperture and objective as used in the case of telescope 
and also their respective focal lengths. Just by interchanging these two lenses, the microscope cannot be converted into telescope and vice versa. But in the context of this problem, because they cannot be more than uh, two incorrect options, I should choose this as correct, but this is really funny. In this case, when the separation is more than FO plus FE, then compound microscope will not function, as the final image will be formed on the other side of the eyepiece. And you need a screen to see the final image. Anyway, this is CBSC. You will have to take this as it is. Take this as correct, but for me, both options are incorrect. So let's come to the fourth part of the problem. The magnification of the compound microscope, we know that is given by MO is to ME. As per problem, the, the magnification produced by the objective lens is 10, and the magnification produced by the eyepiece is 20, and hence we expect overall magnification to be 200 times. This fourth option is correct. Now, the fifth part of the problem. In this case, if we check it, FO equals to 1.2 centimeter, which is equals to 6 by 5 centimeter in fractional form. FE happens to be 3.0 centimeter. The object is placed at a distance of 1.25 centimeter from the objective, and hence UO equals to minus 1.25 centimeter and in fractional form this will be minus 5 by 4 centimeter. If final image is formed at the infinity, then the magnifying power of the microscope is to be found. Okay, let's find out VO for the case of objective lens 1 by VO minus 1 by UO equals to 1 by F, substitute these values, 1 by VO minus 1 by minus 5 by 4 equals to 1 by 6 by 5 or 1 by VO equals to 5 by 6 minus 4 by 5, this is further equals to take 30 as LCM, this is 25 minus 24. This implies that VO is equal to plus 30 centimeters. As the final image is formed at the infinity, and hence the magnifying power should be given by M is equal to MO multiplied by ME. This is equal to VO by UO multiplied by D by FE. This is further equals to value of VO we have just calculated and UO happens to be minus 5 by 4 multiplied by this is 25 and FE happens to be equals to how much? 3 centimeter. This is 3 centimeter. Now next 3 3 1 are 3 3 10 are now next 5 1 the 5 5 5 the 25 and this is equals to minus 10 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 and equals to minus 200. Minus sign basically tells that the final image is real and let's expect C as the final answer. 